Alright, welcome to another Empires and Puzzles Books video. Playing with some new toys here over the weekend at the recommendation of one of my Alliance co-leaders, I Max Sif, and I've been absolutely enjoying her. And today I used some tabards and finished Lepiota. So if you're not familiar with Lepiota, she uh she's fantastic. So she removes everything from the target. First thing she does, gets rid of any any buffs, any ailments, anything. She deals some damage, not a big damage dealer. But then the dark the target gets shifted into this abyss ghost form. And while they're in that form, they get 88 damage each turn and they can't gain any mana, they can't be healed. They are immune to attacks, so I can't attack them once they're, you know, in that form. So no special attacks, no tiles, none of that. And I can't put any status effects or anything like that on them. That lasts for four turns, and that can't be done to the last enemy. So I've played around with her a little bit before. We're at 370, I have a video up, and she's really fun. So... So, Underwild Family... 20% chance to spawn that Underwild gem on the board. So I'm using her by herself. And that deals 50 damage. And she also has one of these things here. Special skill damage reduction. Received damage is reduced by 20% for the first three times this hero receives special skill damage. Alright, so I'm going to use this team uh, regardless of what the opponents look like. I'm just going to do a couple raids here and see how it goes. Not a bad way to start. Alright, so who do we want to make disappear? So one of the challenges I've noticed with uh, this character is that she does not cleanse or get rid of the minions. So she's really dangerous with somebody like Queen of Hearts because you could ghost Queen of Hearts and not be able to kill the minion. And then she is still got the taunt in play. Alright, so I don't want to I don't want to ghost Vila because I want Vila to die on the reflect from Sif if that is enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually ghost Cage Barato so that I can send those holy tiles through his space. So he's disappeared. That was not enough to max them. Will one do it? Alright, I don't want to do the holy match with the fire because that'll set Vila off. So let me just do it this way. And notice I do have that Underwild gem in the middle of the board. Alright, let's pull this down. And Cage Barato should be coming back to life here soon. That was not enough to kill her. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to make the dark match. That is going to hurt. So we're going to eat something here from Gravemaker. Alright, let's... <laughs> oh, they both missed. Alright, let's take out Cage. We're gonna hide Vila this time. Pull 
those dark tiles up. And I think we're actually good now. <clears throat> Alright, not bad. Let's just fight whoever is next. So, well, <laughs> I was going to ghost Black Knight, but I guess that's not necessary since it looks like he's going to go away. All right, well, we got darks over here, so let's elemental defense down. That probably will take out Dark Knight. Hit Francine with the big hit. And now we're going to go ahead and ghost Finley so I can send more dark tiles through him. Oh great, so now we can ghost her too. Get some holy tiles going. Now she might actually die with that, but I want to see if I can get her with the holy tiles. Perfect. He has one turn left, so we're going to go ahead and fire up the Reflect. Finley is back to life. Uh, you know what, he doesn't have much mana, I should have waited to do that. I was thinking he was coming back, but I wasn't thinking that he doesn't have mana yet. Oh well. I don't think we'll need that last ghost again. Alright. Didn't end up using Sif's Reflect for anything. <clears throat> Let's go three for three. Alright. No dark tiles, but holy everywhere. All right, let's see if we can get the combo on the dark tiles. All right. Who do we want to disappear? Let's let's get rid of Mother North. That's such a huge benefit to be able to ghost those tiles. I forgot I still had a, a special going on down here. All right, I'm okay with uh, Odin going off. He'll die on the reflect. We still got two turns left on the reflect. Let's see if we can get kill here to go off. Why that is just too fun. Now we just got to get our specials up for when Mother North comes back to life. And there she is.
All right, there you go. Uh, three rounds with the new heroes. Uh, I am quite pleased, and Lepiota doesn't even have any emblems on her yet. So she is not super great as far as stats goes. And uh, Sif is only sitting at four. So they both seem to be game changers. I'm very pleased to have them as part of the new crew. As always, questions, comments, throw them in the chat below. Let's talk about these two heroes. I know Sif's been out for a while, but she's new to me. But Lepiota is definitely somebody to talk about. Let's talk about her.